Hey guys, welcome to the part 6 video of Django ORM series. In this one, we are going to look how to filter or retrieve data and use some features of Django like exclude, then how to limit data in Django and how to do field lookups. So let's get started. So I'm going to continue from the last video and we are going to start by creating a new endpoint and this endpoint again will be created in post view set. Okay, so we are going to go down and then start by creating a new endpoint and first one we are going to do is for uh, exclude filter. Okay. So the thing is we want to exclude some data and uh, rest of the data we need so that we will be doing for that we are going to start by creating new endpoint and this will be called as exclude filter this will take in self request arguments and then keyword arguments since it is an endpoint so it will have action and a detail will be equal to false because we don't want id in the url and methods will be get so we are going to extract the id from uh, get that is query param so request dot get dot get and we'll be taking id from here we are taking id from the query param and not in the url that is because uh, we want to exclude that particular id and not like get details of that so that's why in order to avoid any confusion we are doing this and then the syntax is model dot object dot exclude okay here we can give id as id and then query set will be equal to this then we are going to serialize this and a return a response so i'm going to copy that from here and paste it so quickly uh, we have created a new exclude filter endpoint this is taking id from the query param then we are like excluding that id from the post model and getting the rest of the data and then serializing it and returning it to the user so let's first run this and then we'll check okay save activate your environment once your environment is activated uh, let's run the server so python manage.py run server and let's go to this so we'll go to the post because that is where we have created the new endpoint and over here you can see exclude filter right now the datas are uh, one two three okay so say we want to exclude this first one and we want rest of them so we are going to go to exclude filter <coughs> by default it will return everything it is correct because we have not excluded anything and in order to exclude we are going to pass in id equal to one so this will be excluded so this is how exclude filter works you can actually uh, chain the filter that is uh, if you all wanted to filter something else also so say you want to filter based on status as well so you all could do that status equals to say one so i want all the posts whose status are equal to one uh, but uh, the id is not this and we'll refresh and there we go we got, uh, get only one response so like like this you all could combine multiple filters and exclude statements and use it then we are going to cover limit by okay so this is interesting because uh, we want only certain number of data to be shown to the user okay so let's copy this and we will say limit filter actually limit data instead of filter and then in this one we are going to write the query set query set will be equal to model dot objects dot all okay so we get all but then we know it is list so we can limit it say we want to get all the data from zeroth element till first element so we are going to do this and after this we have to serialize and return the response so i'm just going to copy paste this one save and check we are going to refresh the page and limit data yeah so see we get only one data what if we want to limit it to two save and refresh we get two data likewise if we want to limit from the end say from uh, we want data only from the second element till the last element so we could do that as well and we get the only third one so this is how limit works you all could also use it in other way so uh, i want only data from the first element till the second element and if you refresh you get only one post that is correct so this is about limiting how to limit data now we are going to check lookup filters okay so again we are going to copy paste this one and over here instead of limit it will be called as lookup 
filter ids will be request dot get dot get and ids so i'm going to extract ids from the query params then i'm going to split the ids so ids dot split and then we are going to filter okay so the idea over here is we want to filter like we want to get multiple data but only with these ids okay so for that you all could actually this one like filter id by id and multiple times and then return all this data but instead of that we are going to use lookup filter so django has provided us with that and uh, that will be something like this so model name dot objects dot filter everything till this point remains same after this id that is the field which we want to filter it on and then uh, it will be double underscore okay a dunder in it you can say then sorry double underscore and then whatever field lookup you want so i want over here in okay and i will pass in ids over here and this will be query set and we are going to copy the serializer line and paste it so it might be difficult right now to understand this but next few videos we are going to explore the lookup filters more so quickly in lookup filter we are taking ids from the uh, get uh, from the query param then we are splitting it that is converting it into a list and in python if you all know list has that in keyword so that is what django is using uh, like filter ids underscore underscore in these ids so only get me these particular id related data and then serialize it and send it back so we'll go back over here and check lookup filter and okay so we didn't pass anything that's why that error so i'm going to pass in id is equal to first time we'll send one then we are going to comma separate it and send two so there we go we get two data and if we say three it will get me three data so this is how lookup filters work so basically any field name that we have in the database separated by underscore underscore and then some uh, some kind of uh, action like or whatever you want to say so here i have used in to filter it based on ids uh, many times we have to do like uh, in in sql we have that something called as like right so we put it percentage percentage and then some value so like that also in django we have i uh, contains then i contains then starts with ends with everything so those are uh, like called as lookup filters so that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and share and see you in the next one